Welcome or welcome back, I'm the Ink Archivist, and today we are continuing our Inkbent Calendar 2022 series with Day 8. This is Jingleberry. It's a great name for a Christmas-themed calendar, and this ink is a standard ink with a deep fuchsia color. And I'm glad that it's not glitter this time because I'm about to have a glitter overdose over here. <laughs> So we'll be filling this ink in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Northern Lights. It's about the only pen I had clean. I just got an ultrasonic cleaner though, so that should help. Sailors are pretty infamous for being difficult to clean. This pen is an extra fine. And with that inked up, we'll move on to swabbing out this ink on our four papers. And those are Tomoe River Paper, HP32, Apica, and Rhodia. There is a bit of shading here on this ink if you're using it in a broader nib. But besides that, it's all pretty run of the mill. Of course, it's diamine, so it's got some great properties. Not any feathering or show through or bleed through that's out of the ordinary. And as you can see with these swabs, it maintains a bright jury color across all four papers. Sometimes it looks a little different or gets a little duller on some of the papers, especially like Apica and the 32, but here it looks pretty similar on all of them. Here's a quick look at the notes I took with this. It's the last page, so there's only one page instead of the usual two spread. And this is quite readable, as you can see, so I would give it about a, a 7 out of 10, personally. Next up, we have the writing sample, and I have my Hokuro with my 2.0 stub nib for the title. And I'll be pulling out that Sailor Northern Lights for the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This ink flows really nicely and it's very visible even in such a small pen, so even though it's a little off the beaten path in terms of color, I think it's still quite usable. And there's a lot of things that I wanted to compare this ink to. I had a bevy of different colors that I thought might be similar or identical to this ink, but in the end, it really seems like this ink is different. It's close to your Suzuki Yamabuto, but it's lighter than that ink. So to start off the swabs, I'm pulling out Yamabuto and then Sutsuji. Sutsuji I thought would be almost identical, but it's much pinker than Jingleberry. You can see there, it's much brighter. Next up is the Yamabuto. Yamabuto is actually probably my least favorite of the Iro Suzuku inks. I have quite a lot and I really enjoy them. They're probably my favorite line of ink, but me and Yamabuto just have never gotten along. <laughs> I think it verges on too wet for me. So Jingleberry might be a nice replacement for that ink. Next up we have J. Urban's Rose Sick Lemon. But even this verge is more warm and pink toned than Jingleberry, which leans a little bit more purple. And last we, ha we have Lamy Pink, which <laughs> not very similar at all compared to these. It's very close to uh, Sutsuji, but even brighter and more pink than that. So here we have the finished samples with the name on it. And I really love this ink. I think it's a gorgeous color. And I don't know if I need a bottle of it because I have so many other similar colors, but it definitely stands out for me as something that I could use instead of Yamabuto, which again, I find is a little too wet and smeary for my tastes, but 
Let me know what you think about it. And thank you for joining me today. Bye.